What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Showtime is the place again. We're looking cool. We're hey, looking cute. We're looking fashionable. Going to do a quick team recap because there was a change in the last episode. We have Grim Snarl level 52 holding on to the leftovers because he just can't let them go. With Full Surrender, Spirit Break, Power Punch, and Fake Out. We have Seismitoad at level 52 barely holding on to that bag of soft sand. Rock and Bulldoze, Drain Punch, Rock Slide, and Bubble Beam. Mimikyu at level 53 wearing that expert belt. Rock and Shadow Claw, Wood, Hammer, Willow, Wisp, and Draining Kiss. Hin out of the Cinderace, level 53. Pulling onto the Charcoal and Rocking Pyroball, Bounce Revenge, and Fire Pledge. Rillaboom at level 52. Pulling onto the Rose Incense, Smelling So Sweet. Rock and Drum Beating, Grass Pledge, U Turn, Knock Off. Ferrothorn at level 52. Wearing the Metal Coat with Iron Head Power Whip, Gyro Ball, and Pin Missile. And apparently there wasn't anything new. I thought there was. Oh no. No? Yes? Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. We went with the navy blue because there was no light blue attire that we could do, so this is what we went with, and yeah. Methinks I should have used the bathroom before I started this episode, but whatever. Yes, yes, Bay, it is me, your future lover. And there's your grandmother. Always cases like that, though, where, uh, you know, you look at Sonia, you look at her grandmother, and it's like, huh. What granny used to look like? And then you think, Ew, am I really having those thoughts? Naturally. Yes, yes, you, you go on, let us stare at Sonia's butt when she walks away, because it's barely showing under that coat, but it still is. Okay, well, this is where the... Yeah, this is where the last gym is. And since we didn't do it earlier... Hold up, is it in here? No. No, it's down here. There is one thing I want to go do since I didn't do it earlier. I also want to go in here and see if there's navy blue clothes in here that I could buy. Because this is the literal only place I didn't check for navy blue... Or for light blue. Yeah, no light blue. Okay. I'm gonna go kick this guy. Hello, get in there, fine. That bitch. You have fairy types. I should swap out. Wheel of Boom. Cinderace. Yeah, because now that I'm all the proper level, I'm not just gonna get swept like, you know, my normal playthrough. Because, yeah, I went in there on my normal playthrough and just got destroyed. But right now they're way under my level so I can just fucking get rid of them.
Yeah, bitch, how's that? <laughs> and now I burnt his whole establishment to the ground, because that's how we do. Do, do, do. Where's the ball guy? Ball guy. What up? Oh, apparently I got the ball from him. Huh. Uh, I really wish I had an ice type move. Or a See, if I had to rule it on right now, that would be the perfect Pokemon to bring into this gem fight. Oh, right, right. Okay, hold on. I actually do need to have a double battle set up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? In I'm just going to... Instead of super effectiveness, I'm just going to rock out with these two. Because honestly, Grass... Like, this is the reason I have these two having those moves. Like, I have Grass Pledge and Fire Pledge for this specific reason. I completely forgot that is why I had the, those moves this entire time. Because they're actually really good moves to have. Do 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 dragon fucking challenge. Oh shit, there's Raihan. Fucking texting on his phone like, uh huh? Yeah, cool. Nudes, ludes. Dick pic from the champion. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> like, like seriously, that I would not be surprised if that's the kind like they seem like the type of people who, you know, possible shipping or not based on the internet speculations. They do seem like the kind of people who would just randomly text each other dick pics just for the fun of it. I can't fight this with these two. That Palilipper will fuck me up. And Slagoo probably has a water type move on it as well, so... Uh, let me get my Mimikyu and Grimmsnarl and fight this with them instead. Yeah, that's why I uh, switched to these two. I hit Slugu with that and probably cause quite a bit of damage, and I'll hit Palolper with Fake Out. Yeah, see, this is the point where the Pokemon actually start to catch up to my level, so. Oh boy. Really, you have like a 10% chance to confuse, and you actually do it. Bitch. Okay, let's hit Palolper with a Will-O-Wisp, kill Slugu with Spirit Break, if I can. Wow, both of you are confused. I almost dropped my controller. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just kind of fucking infuriated me. Just like, oh, cool. So you hit yourself when you could be killing them. 
Hooker. Hooker ass bitch. Okay, we're gonna hit Pulver with a Shadow Claw. We're gonna try to kill it again with Spirit Break. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Thank you. It's quite a bit of damage. That's good. That's good. Another Water Pulse on Grimmsnarl. What the fuck? Don't do that. No, no, don't, don't. Why are all of you aiming for my Grimmsnarl? Thank you for not hitting yourself again. One shot once it actually got hit. Oh shit, you have two Pokemon each, don't you? Oh no, you don't. Okay, good. Uh, I should really take this chance to heal that thing. Hyper Potion, Heal. Spirit Break 75, Full Surrender is 80 and doesn't mess. Good, good, good. Yeah, I've managed to get this far because I'm a fucking boss, bitch. Oh, oh, here's here comes one of the two cute trainers. Because I don't care this, like, out of the minor sp Oh, cool, I have a chance to heal? Awesome! I mean, I don't need to heal because I healed at the end of the last battle, so... But really... Like, the gym trainers with this break, come on, come on, they are up there on the waifu scale with everything else. Mm. You see, again, I can't very well trust this setup. Ugh, yeah. I kind of wish I had a flying type so I could have, like, sent that in alongside Seismitoad because I think Seismitoad is gonna, like, hit everything when I use Bulldoze. Actually, I don't need to use Bulldoze, I have Bubble Beam. Of course you burn me. Well, you want to know the funny part about that? I don't need, uh, you know, my normal statistics when I do that shit. That's a two shot. That's good. Ooh, right. You're actually the one I don't want to be trying to do that on. Because you're half dragon type. So I should hit the nine tails with the next bubble beam and hit the dragon type with. Actually, it should be good to hit with a fairy type move, shouldn't I? Jesus, come on! Just die already! Oh shit, really? For fuck's sake! Yeah, that did like no damage. Not sure if it was because I was fucking burned or what. It's incredibly fucking annoying to be burned! Kill the Ninetales. A use a burn heal to fucking not be burned. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's still less annoying. I'll do a little bit of damage. Draining Kiss will do. Actually, Draining Kiss might kill now that I'm not burned. Damn, only in the red. Oh boy. Dead. Cool. I think just because this is double battles, it'll uh, make things take like 90, 90. Uh, yeah, I'll take it over. I can relearn Draining Kiss if fucking Play Rough misses a lot, but. No. Jesus. Camilla, you cute, but oof. Gee, Arya. You wouldn't happen to have water types. What? Wait, no, the first one had water types. Are you gonna have grass types and just throw me through a loop? I don't remember. Mm. Whatever. Oh, I do not have status healing stuff. Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, do I have berries? I have some berries, okay. I have some stamps healing stuff. Okay, those two don't really go together, but sure. Who of you is actually a bigger... I think you're probably a bigger threat to me right now. One shot, bitch. Okay, well, rude. But too bad this is a team effort. I'm going to show you my ultimate double battle style. Pledge! Oh, God. Pledge. The only cleaner. We, we need more lemon pledge. Can't you just go to the store and buy your own lemon pledge? No, no. Wow, are you still alive after being hit with that? Wow, all right, all right. I mean, I guess it really does. I could have just hit him with a bounce. Like, in theory, I could have just hit it with a bounce and killed it, because it's a half-fighting type. Yeah. Do I really want to take the switch and egg? Like, I really would like a fight, a fucking 
physical water move. You know, like waterfall or something. Ugh. No, because of the lack of accuracy, I don't want to take it because this is a Nuzlocke and I really don't want to fucking... Ugh. Like, the only accuracy issues I want is where the final shot goes with those girls. That's exactly how I meant to have it sound. Just, just, you know, just saying. Okay, do I have to heal anyone? I could. I have a couple of potions, I'll just... Potion. 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 Okay, that should be fine. I remember how much difficulty this motherfucker gave me the first time. I'm actually intimidated by this gym fight coming. Like, I have not been intimidated by a gym fight yet, and this I am intimidated by. I'm completely expecting to lose a Pokemon of some kind here. I just really hope it isn't one of the things that actually matter to me. He's like, grrr! Oh. Actually, no. No, that that's... The bad part about this is the fact that Cinder Ace could get completely annihilated. You know what? We're gonna give up on the strategy that we had going for the time being. I am gonna stay in with Rillaboom to... Hit Gigalith with drum beating, and I will switch out with Cinder Ace to go into Seismitoad. Oh, of course, it hits both of them. Why wouldn't it? At least that's a, I know that's a Dragon type move, so I can switch out to. You lowered my fucking physical attack. Of course, you lowered my physical attack. That would have been a one shot if you didn't lower my attack stat, you whore. Ugh. Fuck. And you stealth rock me, motherfucker. Ugh, so annoying. Whatever. Does Grab Sludge hit both or one? One. Oh, no. Bitch. Don't do that. Yeah, that's like a three hit KO. That's way too much effort. Gigalith is dead, that's good. No. I don't see a purpose of learning Endeavor. Sanaconda is just a ground type. Like, why does he have just a ground type or just a rock type? Like, that's fucking rude. Okay. So we're gonna actually gonna switch out and reset our attack stat by going into both of our fairy types because I can't get hit by breaking swipe. If I'm in something that completely neutralizes fairy type attacks or dragon type attacks, yeah, I know fucking stones, but breaking swipe doesn't hit either of them, therefore. <clears throat> Why the paralysis? Come on, bro. Fucking whore. Okay. Do either of my fairy type moves hit both of them? Player up doesn't. I'll see, here's the better question. Who has the better attack stat between the two of them? 
I imagine it's probably Grimmsnarl. 116, 176. Yeah, it's definitely Grimmsnarl. So let's heal up that paralysis with Mimikyu's turn. I don't have a paralyzed heal. That kind of sucks. Do I have a cherry? I have a lot of cherry berries. Spirit Break doesn't hit two of them, but it's enough to kill the Flygon. Not one shot. I almost said it was one shot, but it's not one shot. Let me guess you did it. Okay. Not doing it on Mimikyu is actually preferable because I can hit you with a wood hammer now. Wood hammer does 20 as far as. God, this. Oh, good lord. Okay, um. Fuck, fuck, fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. That Darulodon is what really scares me. Like, that thing actually puts fear into my soul right now. Honestly. <sighs> We're, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to whisper that. We're going to switch out to Seismitoad. Because I'm not sure if Seismitoad or Cinderace would do more. But considering the Sandstorm is still up, I have a feeling that Seismitoad would do more than Cinderace would. And if I lose both of these Pokemon, well, that's... Oh, uh, I guess I have to rebuild my team if that happens, but... These are his last two Pokemon, I think, so... We'll face this Skyscraper. Okay, I outspeed it. That is really good. The fact I can burn it actually might save me on this. Mimikyu's probably dead. Oh, Seismitoad's who he aimed for. Even better. Okay, so Mimikyu is not just going to instantly die. That's wonderful. His, def His defense rose. If I get a crit, it won't matter. Okay, and you... Alright, the Sandstorm subsiding kind of sucks, I will be honest, but... He's burned. I'm going to take this time to heal the size of it. Because honestly, I'm 100% willing to give up Mimikyu if need be. I have everything on my team. Mimikyu is probably who I would be willing to give up because I can replace a ghost type. I have a fairy type. Oh, it does hit everyone! Okay. Um, so do I hit every? No. I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to Max Quake. And I'm going to hit the fucking Darulodon. I don't care. I'm gonna fucking Dynamax and I'm gonna hit him with a Max Geyser and fuck his day up. Oh, Max Quake, not Max Geyser. Durr. Max Geyser is what I'll hit with the other thing with if I have the. Ooh, that actually still did a good chunk of damage, even though his fucking defense rose. Yeah, bro, that's fine. I Like I said, I was 100% willing to lose Mimikyu. Wow, he's actually not dead yet. <sighs> okay. I have two options here. I can either A, switch out and save Mimikyu, or B, heal using Mimikyu's turn. Okay. 
can I switch it to that be safe? I can probably switch it to Will of Omen and be safe, honestly. No, yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll switch out Mimikyu for Rillaboom. And just try to fight, the, fight through the paralysis. Because Rillaboom can kill Sanaconda. So I can leave Seismitoad to keep trying to get off Darulodon. I did not predict it having Fire Fang. Good thing that didn't... Ugh. You're gonna heal. You're gonna heal. You're gonna heal. <sighs> but are you gonna heal... You... Fuck. Are you gonna heal using... Okay, but that uh, that's actually really good. The fact that his Gigantamax is gone and mine is not. So I'm gonna use this turn to heal... Rillaboom... As long as he doesn't get hit by a crit fire fang, I should be fine. And I know you're gonna heal, so I'm gonna hit you with a. Yeah, see, I knew you were gonna. Hit. Oh, wait, no, that's my heal. Whatever. He's probably gonna heal. Watch. No? Okay, well, I just max quaked for literally no reason. And Rollaboom is still alive. I mean, I guess I didn't do it for no reason. He could have healed. Because that's kind of a thing that gym leaders do. But he didn't, so... Oh, hey, there's that crit I could have used two turns ago. And now I revert back to normal size. But the Darulodon's dead, therefore... This gym battle is no longer an issue. Unless somehow... Yeah, you know, something happens. And we're gonna hit drum beating on the Santa Condo, and then we're gonna fuck. We're gonna heal it. And we're gonna heal Rillaboom. Because that's what we do, because we're good trainers. Yeah, we're at 32 minutes already, huh? Well, that didn't really do a lot, but it did enough to actually be considered something. <laughs> the winds rise again, stream forward, sandstorm. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, it really doesn't matter because between my two Pokemon, you're gonna die this turn. Oh. It's not good damage, but... Oh, hey, it's enough to kill it, though. Crit. Nice. And I actually left that gym battle unscathed. Holy shit. Like, if anybody was here for my fucking sword playthrough, they would have seen me lose a majority of my Pokemon... Yeah, my Pokemon. The aftermath of a fierce battle, it feels beard, blah blah blah, and what can possibly say? Uh, bone Leon later after you beat him. Here's the dragon badge. Now, there is still one location I don't think I ever got an encounter from. At least as far as the wild area goes. So, I think... Should I do that before I end off the episode or next episode? No, no, I'm going to do it before I end off the episode just because why the fuck not? Yep, you, you go do your thing, guys. Let me do my thing. Thank you.
Alright, who's gonna interrupt me on the way out? Hi, bye! Oh, you wanna go celebrate? Come on, let's go have a few drinks. You can blow me under the table and... What? Nothing. Nothing. Nah, who am I kidding? Sony suck the dick! I, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of pent up mental frustrations in that area over the years, so. Oh, shit! She looking spiffy! She looking good as fuck! Right, I did just say I was going to go get an encounter. Fuck, I don't need to heal my Pokemon first. I can do that after. Oh, my Pokemon are already healed. Um, anyone have status elements or anything? Better yet, did I ever go buy full swipe on anybody um, from anywhere? Because I know I can buy full swipe. You have Will-O-Wisp, I suppose that could work. Yeah, you say take the train, and I'll do that in just a minute, but first, let me take a dick pic. Wait, no, wrong song. Lake of Outrage. I'd rather catch something that's like... What are you? There we go. Cool. Mantike is actually exactly who I wanted to run into. You're level 43, but what can... Like, I can probably hit you with a Shadow Claw and... Then Willow is spew and catch you. Or I just kill you. Okay, well, there goes that encounter. Alright. Well, I'll at least find out what hidden items are over here to snag them before I end off the episode. Hello? Thank you. Ooh, Focus Sash! Wait, that didn't pop up as new. Is that my second one of those? Oh, hey, Jolteon, what up? Alright, and this is where I find all the stones. Which, I mean, I really don't need. Granted, I could switch out my team and, like, level everything up going into the Elite Four, but... I think my team's actually pretty fucking good as it is. I'll probably... Go to Hammerlock and look at my box off screen, but I actually really do think that my team is good enough as it is. Ah, TM. Ooh! See, I already have one Pokemon Shadow Claw, but that's actually pretty good. Alright. Shadow Claw or Shadow Sneak? I think you have Shadow Claw. Yeah. But I imagine I can teach it to others. Like, I can probably teach it to you and you and even you. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's fly back to Hammerlock and... I'll start the outro right now by saying the usual. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, 
like Facebook, follow Twitter, Twitch, all that good stuff. I try to stream every single day if I can, unless there's any kind of interruption. And until next time, it's been The Blazer King, signing out. Ta-ta for now. Peace.